Hello and welcome to another Revit tutorial. In this video we're going to be covering design options. We'll show you how to create design options, how to add items to your design options, and also how to save design options to be a part of your main model. So first of all, where can I find design options? Well, there are a couple of places. At the bottom of your window in Revit, right here this icon will give you design options. Also under the Manage tab at the top, if you click Design Options here, it will open this window. Right now our only choice is to create a new option set. Let's click New, and we'll get a set with an option in it. This is an organizational tool for Revit. If you have multiple areas that you're setting up design options in, you can create different sets for those areas and name them for the areas or options that you're setting up. So let's rename this option set. We'll click Option Set here, Rename. We're going to be doing a waiting area, so we'll name this Waiting Area Options. Click OK. And with that set selected, we'll go ahead and click here, new, and we'll add a couple additional options there. Now, you'll notice that our default option one has the word primary next to it. What this means is your primary design option in each set will show up in your main model, even if you're not working in that design option. So it's good practice, especially in new construction, to create a blank option set, that way, while you're navigating the main model, uh, you don't have additional items showing up everywhere in these different sets, slowing your project down. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a blank option set. I'll click option three. I'll click rename, and I will call this one blank. Okay. With that selected, we'll go ahead and click make primary, and then we'll close. So right now we're working in the main model our primary option is showing up, but there is nothing in it. So uh, let's go ahead and add some items to our other options. To activate an option, you can click this drop down menu and select which option you want to edit. I'm going to go with option one, and we'll go ahead and place a couple components. Let's add a table, a couple tables, and let's also put some lounge chairs in here. I'm just hitting spacebar to rotate. And now let's also add some items to option two. So you can again find it down here. Click option two. And we will add a couple of these lounge chairs to option two. Okay, so once we've added things to the options, let's say we want to go back to the main model and work in that, click Design Options, Finish Editing, and Close. We're in the main model, our blank primary design option is showing up, there's nothing on it, so we're still fast and efficient working in the main model. When it comes time to select a design option that you like, let's say we like option one, once we move these chairs out of the wall, we want to accept that option and make it the uh, part of the main model. So we will go back to design options under option one. First, we'll have to make that the primary. So finish editing, select option one, make it your primary option, and then click on your option set right here, waiting area options, and I'll click accept primary. Revit will give you a warning just to remind you that when you Select that as your final decision. Every other option, you'll, you'll lose those options and the items in them. So make sure you have everything that you need from those. Click Yes, then click Close. And now all the items in that design option are part of your main model. That's about it for the basics. Uh, keep an eye out for the next video, which will show some more advanced techniques to working in design options. We'll, we'll go through hosted elements and other things as well for for more advanced design option layouts. Uh, thank you for watching and best of luck. See you next time.